Writing is not a mystery. It's your best chance to achieve mastery. My secret to writing is not complex. I write like I talk. Writing and speak makes several things easy. Number one, as long as you can think or have an idea or want to expand a thought, you'll never be at a loss for words. Think about it. When you're on the phone, you never say to an old friend, hold, hold on, I'm trying to think of something to say. You just say it. When you write like you speak, words just flow. Number two, reading what you write and speak is much more conversational. Writing and speak makes your words easy to read, easy to understand, and in my case, easy to implement. Number three, editing the next day. Give yourself a fresh look at what you were thinking and allow yourself to give clarity to your writing, just a little bit more. And number 3.5, reading aloud as you edit. This one secret will give you more writing power than you can imagine. It exposes every flaw and ensures flow of words and thought. But let's get specific. Here are writing instructions for business social media, how to write on Twitter. Your posts on Twitter, your tweets, should achieve two objectives. One, be short, value messages that your customers will appreciate, and two, be something that is retweetable. In other words, your connections tweet it to all of their connections. Rather than me providing a couple of examples, go to Twitter, search people for my name, Gittimer, and look what I've tweeted. You can, uh, I'm also at Gittimer if you want to find it that way. You can also see in the search results what other people are saying about me. All of that noise comes from writing. As I approach momentum on Twitter, I'm beginning to interact with others when they say something nice about me. I thank them or comment back. Amazingly, most people feel compelled to comment on my comment, thereby giving me another mention to all of their followers. The best news about Twitter is that most business people are still Twitter ignorant. This means you have a chance to be Twitter dominant. Here's where to start. Number one, to begin successfully, invite all your friends and give them some samples of what you intend to tweet. Number two, tweet something of value every day. Number three, only tweet 120 characters so there's enough room for people to retweet what you have to say. Number four, don't quote other people, only quote yourself. Number 4.5, don't abuse the process. Don't try to sell anything on Twitter until it's time. Make relevant, purposeful, helpful statements that others will respect, remember, and retweet. Here's how to write on Facebook. Facebook offers the widest variety of communication possibilities and it's getting wider every day. I recommend you have two Facebook pages, one for your personal life and one for your business life and keep them separate. Here's where to start. Post with pictures, maybe one that even leads to a video. Short one or two line posts with links that will take me someplace and allow me to read more or watch more if I'm interested. Write about events with significance. Write about your ideas, your thoughts. Write about your observations. What have you seen? Number two, respond to others who post on your page, good or bad. Like Twitter, interactions on Facebook need to be short and sweet. If enough people are connected to you, they'll get your notifications and be able to respond back. That's why short messages are important. When your followers see that you're engaged with them and respond to them directly, they will be more enthusiastic about commenting again or asking questions. In my case, oftentimes my followers will even respond to each other, creating real meaningful dialogue without me. Number three, take advantage of the one-on-one. -on -one. one of the reasons Facebook has achieved world domination is because it's personal. If Zappos takes a full page ad in Vogue magazine, they have no idea who thinks about the ad, much less who responds. But on Facebook, they can respond to customers individually, one at a time, and customers can see it. When customers see a company is responsive, they feel safer doing business with them. Facebook is becoming more sophisticated. Video on Facebook, on, on Facebook, video on Facebook will become the new norm further eroding traditional email, by the way. Facebook has also created a reaffirmation of the word instant. You can message any one of your followers. They can message you back and everybody knows everybody else's status in a matter of seconds. 
Number four, celebrate it. Study what's being done. And don't just be abreast of what's new. Implement the latest update as soon as it becomes available. Your customers need to perceive that you are on top of your market and on top of your game. And Facebook allows you to do both. And 4.5, remember that bad can be good. Many businesses are Facebook reluctant because they're afraid the customer is going to post something bad. Update. For those of you afraid to create a business Facebook page for fear that your employees will abuse it or your customers will abuse you, let me be kind and say you're a fool. Your customers and employees are going to say it anyway. If they say it on your page, you have a chance to respond to it and turn the feedback into positive results. And note well, when you're writing a response, don't be defensive. Thank people and tell them what you're going to do not regurgitate what you did. If a package is lost, don't blame the post office, just send another one. The key to Facebook is positive interaction, not just interaction. Stay tuned, more about writing to come.